Yo, what up, guys? I'm Sammy. And I'm Lucas. And welcome back to Patch. And today we're going to be reviewing a studio quality microphone by Rocat. This is the Rocat Torch. It's only 100 bucks. And if you guys do want to get it, we'll leave a link in the description box. But of course, let's get it started off with the base. And on the bottom of the base, we got some rubber feet. So it's non slip, it doesn't slide on your desk or anything. And then coming here into the back of the base, we have you can adjust the brightness of the RGB. Yes, there is RGB on this mic, which is pretty cool, I guess, if you're a gamer. Uh, not a huge fan of RGB, but we'll get into the lights. They are actually very helpful. And here on the left of that, we have a sensitivity slider. So you can adjust the sensitivity of this kind of like motion detector here on top of the mic, which lets you mute the mic, which is really cool. And then here in the middle of the bit, and then here in the middle of the back, we have some connections. So it connects the base to the mic. And then of course you connect the entire thing to the actual computer. So we have a very long cord, it's braided. This is USB-A, so you can connect it to your computer. And we have a longer USB-C to USB-C cable if you want to put the mic on a mic stand, which is very nice if you wanna use it kind of like closer to your face or if you wanna keep it on the desk, you can do that as well. And then here on the left of that, we have a three and a half millimeter jack for your headphone. I yes. mean, it's always good to use like a, a standalone mic because then you can kind of just use whatever headphones you want or whatever headphones you have around so you can focus more on like audio quality. Then if you've got like, I feel like gaming headsets, you just don't get the best of both worlds with most of them. It's like, yeah. it's like you kind of get like one or the other really good. Um, so it's good to have this for sure, and I love the boom arm compatibility. Yes. Now, on the front, what we've got is the pattern controls. So we've got a cardioid pattern, which will pick up sort of right in front of you, kind of like a shotgun mic. Um, and we've got stereo, which will pick up all around. And then we've got whisper mode, so if you want to start an Oli fans, you can start one of those. And then we got off as the last option. Um, now, we've also got a volume rocker, which can control your mic monitor um, or your headphone volume, which is cool. It just basically controls the Windows volume. If you press that down, mutes the mic as well in case you don't want to do the arm over, over the top. And then you've got your gain, so you can sort of adjust the volume of your microphone on top of there as well. So it looks like a little, basically like a little mixer. You've also got a little display in the front that says when the mic is live Ooh. and then when it's muted, which is cool. And the whole RGB changes when it's muted to this red color. So you, you just know when you're muted, you know, that's a good thing to know because I myself usually leave myself muted for an, an unknown amount of time until my friends let me know. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. I don't know how it happens, but whenever we're talking and then he just stops talking for a while, I'm like, yo, like you hear us? And then he just doesn't talk. I'm like, dude, you're muted. So. Yeah, see, I'm always like, I'm always like, I'll be right back. I'm going to get some water and I mute my mic and then I forget to unmute it when uh, I get back. I'm like, yo, what's up, guys? <laughs> so, and now, uh, as far as the build quality goes, so the base is pretty much made of all plastic. Here on top of the base, we have some aluminum, which is pretty nice. The mic is pretty much made out of like a metal. So that's actually very nice for build quality. And then uh, we have some like, I guess, what, what is this, like a hexagon shape here for uh, the here for the mic. And of course, here in front of the mic, we have the Rocat logo and that is actually RGB. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, the build quality is really nice on this mic. Yeah, build quality is really good. Now the audio quality. So it does Ooh. pick up 24 bit audio again. So we're not audio files, so we're not going to tell you if the you know, if the mid tones are 24 cents up or, or down, like we don't know all that stuff. Um, but we can tell you when something sounds good or when something sounds like tinny or like crap. So this mic actually sounds really good. And I was in Discord with my friends and I know it's it's sort of limited by Discord's connection. So I will put in a clip uh, just from Audacity of just me recording it, just plugged in, um, just sort of at its base. This is what the Rocat torch sounds like with the cardioid pattern about two feet from my face, so right in front of my keyboard. This is what the Rocat torch sounds like up close with the cardioid pattern. This is sitting maybe four inches from my mouth, so this is what it sounds like. In Discord, I had my Shure SM7B plugged into my GoXLR with a cloud lifter in line, and I had my friend listen to that. That's what they usually listen to. I plugged this guy in. I had it about right here. It was just sort of in front of my keyboard, right? And he said it sounded a little bit tinny, but still good, very, like, like, he could deter discern what I'm saying very well. Just a little bit tinny. Sounded like it was trying to like pick it up from farther basically and trying to trying to pick up the gain on that. Now when I brought it close to my mouth like this, he said it sounded as good, if not better, than my Shure SM7B. Um, which hurt. That hurt. Yeah. It was it was a little said, hurtful. How much is your audio setup? Like a thousand dollars or something? Yeah, it's pretty expensive. I don't so. want to talk about it. <laughs> and this I don't, is I don't want to talk about it. This is a hundred <laughs> bucks, guys. And I guess it, you can't really put it close to your face if it's on your desk. But of course, you can just change all of that 
if you get a mic stand, you know? So that's pretty cool. And that's what we have the longer cable for. So, uh, and, and you know, we have the shorter cable if you want to put the mic on to the actual bass. So the, yeah, the audio quality is really nice, especially only for a hundred bucks. Yeah, I have a, a Yeti, you know, a blue Yeti. It's pretty old. It's a couple years old actually, but um, I feel like this is actually, uh, the audio quality is better than that, you know, so. Yeah, the Yeti, I feel like is like the go-to standard. I mean, now this, this is also considered a plug and play. So there's no drivers required, which is actually really nice. If you do want to install the drivers, you can install Rocat Neon, but there's not really many, I didn't see like any settings in there just yet. So maybe it's not fully developed yet. I don't know if that's still a work in progress, but driver free usage of this guy was perfectly fine. Like it worked as intended. I didn't really see anything that I would need to change in software. I just downloaded it just to see if there was anything. And there pretty much was not. So the quality, the build quality is great. The audio quality is great. You have a whole bunch of, it looks a little bit like a mixer. Of course, you don't get crazy options like a mixer, but uh, it is pretty cool that you can change things on the fly, especially if you're streaming or if you're gaming with your friends and you want to sound nice. So for a hundred bucks, I mean, that's still pretty cheap, I would say for a good quality microphone. Yeah. Know? And I mean, like it's, it's so user friendly, like you've got, three knobs on the front, which is all like very easy to know what they do just by kind of looking at it. Um, it's not like one of those like crazy, like audiophile, like mixers, you know, it's not gonna confuse people. It doesn't have like 14 knobs, a foot pedal and a steering wheel to control your mics, you know? <laughs> like it's just very simple, very straightforward, very user friendly. Um, I think this is actually a phenomenal option for everyone. I think people seriously need to start upgrading to standalone mics outside of using like headset mics. Although it is hilarious when you start screaming, screaming and peeking yeah. a head, headset mic, like that's just yeah. the best. Like nothing beats that still. Exactly. So <laughs> uh, do we recommend the Rocat Torch? Yes. It's great for everybody. Like Lucas said, you know, beginners, you know, if you just kind of like want a better quality microphone for even like professional use, I would say, you know, um, probably you would probably want to invest a little bit more, but the audio quality is still pretty damn nice. So uh, yeah, I mean, we were very surprised and Rocat really hit it out the ballpark with this microphone. Yeah, and I, I mean, $100, that's very, very competitive pricing. Yes. So uh, as long as you don't want a boom arm, this is really all you need. Like everything you need comes in the box. And I, you know, I mean, a boom arm is like 25 bucks on Amazon. So it's not terrible. Exactly. So uh, just, just make sure to uh, measure the actual kind of like nut or the screw, like the size of it, because it is a little bit smaller than your app. It's, it's smaller than my Yeti, so just keep that in mind. But yeah, it's still pretty cheap, relatively cheap actually. So anyways, that about concludes our review. We 100% recommend the Rocat Torch. And again, if you guys do want to get it, we'll leave a link in the description box, but that's it. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one. See you in the next one.